Now to the flooding from yesterday across the northeast and in central Vermont. Hundreds of people spent today assessing the damage that was done by yesterday's flooding. Governor Phil Scott held a news conference a few hours ago addressing what is now the state's second major flood response of the year. ABC 22's Lily Sackamy was spent the day in central Vermont to bring us some of that latest information. Sandbags and debris line the streets of Montpelier and Moortown as people in central Vermont continue to recover from Monday's floods. While this bout of flooding hasn't had the same impact as the one in July, its effects are more widespread. Seeing homes and businesses surrounded by water once again has been heartbreaking. Governor Phil Scott held a press conference addressing the state's ongoing flood response. We simply cannot rebuild the same way in the exact same places as we have. Because as we've said, events like this will become more frequent, which is why the resiliency and mitigation work will be so important. While there were no reports of deaths or injuries from the floods, there were a total of 12 rescues made by the state's swift water team. Following Monday's floods, six school districts remained closed for the day, a total of 54 schools. Most plan to reopen tomorrow, but Moortown Elementary School will have a bit of a longer recovery process. So far, Moortown School has reported damage to its heating system and some classrooms. Their K through sixth grade students will be relocated to Harwood Middle High School for the remainder of the week, with plans to reopen January 2nd. I'd like to commend and um, really call out our, our schools, our school leaders. Um, I think it's um, a real testament to what a great education system we have. Reporting in Central Vermont, Lily Sakaniwa, ABC 22 News.